Introducing the new LBAR from Career Extenders. It's six tools in one. Number 101B. Okay, let me demonstrate how to use the LBAR. Here are the transverse processes and the spinous processes. You can get this little tool right in between the spinous processes. Get those little ligaments, tendons, fascia, periosteum. You, there are little rotator muscles. We can use this tip to get right on the edges of the spinous processes and transverse processes to get the periosteum and little rotator insertions here. You can also take the rounded part of the tool and be able to slide it up and down right in the laminar groove. It fits in there perfectly. It's a, a dream to use. This little tool can be used very effectively to scoop right up underneath the occiput on the head. As you know, the difference between a patient getting better and just getting improvement is how thorough you are. This little tool will reach up into the suboccipital muscles into areas that you can never get your fingers into. Of course, if you don't release those areas and the tr and trigger points are in there, they will keep reactivating the muscles to tighten up. And here you can see on the model the little muscles that run from spinous process to spinous process. And the little tool is just fantastic for getting in and releasing those. Firstly, because of the shape of this tool, as you come to a tight muscle, it will slip up and over any tight muscle. I can also use the flat edge of this tool to work the insertions on the occiput of the trapezius. Now I'll turn the tool over and use the ball in the laminar groove. Notice how I'm using my thumb of the other hand to stabilize the tip. It's feeling the spinous process and holding the laminar groove in exactly the position that I want it in. Both hands are in complete contact with the patient at all times for virtually all of the therapy. Uh, the thumb is palpating and feeling where the tool should go and then helping guide it. So the thumbs are doing none of the work other than just palpating and feeling where the tool should be. That these spinous processes are coming out and heading a bit, or a bit uh, inferior. So I'm going to kind of slide in in this direction and I can feel right through the tool. There's the area right there. Uh, Dr. Trevell in her book says that these little muscles will cause what people will call bone pain. Of course, the best of my knowledge, bones have no pain receptors, so when bone, when the patient says bones hurt, it's not the bones that are hurting. But these little muscles in here will cause what will be interpreted as bone pain. And as you work your way down, you'll feel like right there, there's a tender spot probably, or a tight spot at the very least. And then of course I'll go over each row that you work will be progressively shorter because the sacrum is triangular shaped. So here we have the root of the scapula on the shoulder blade. And if you were to cut that root of the scapula uh, cross section, you would see it's T-bone shaped. And there's a little area where this tool will reach into where you can get those little trigger points that hide up in here that you'll never get with your finger. And if you don't remove them, they'll keep reactivating the infraspinatus. So I'm palpating the root of the scapula and I can get the little tip of the tool right up underneath that area I just showed you on the uh, model. Here I am treating the AC joint. You'll never get your fingers in between those bones. This, this little tool is just fantastic for getting in between osseous areas, bone areas, everywhere in the body. Remember, the more precise the treatment, the more thorough the results. You can also, of course, treat the AC joint with the person face down. You'll also find this tool works perfectly in the feet. You can run your thumb up in between the uh, metatarsals and uh, feel if, the, if there's restriction between the bones. Some bones you'll find there's a lot of restriction, some move quite freely. And this little tool will slide right in there and release those interosseous muscles which of course you have an awfully hard time getting with your fingers and you certainly won't get up in as far. Obviously you need to start slower on some people and work your way in a little deeper over maybe a few sessions. You can work absolute miracles on these people who have problems in their feet. If you've worked on these muscles before in between the toe bones here basically, um, you know that for the patient it can feel very bizarre feeling. It feels very little like muscle pain but it produces almost miracles when uh, you get the areas cleared up. The three sides of the tool can be used for airflorage. The narrower side on the arm and the wider side on the leg. Using this edge here, frictioning in here, just the knuckles getting in here. Needed to do forearms, just figured I could 
turn it around and go up the forearm. And it just flow, just flowed. It's just very smooth, very easy to do. One little tool, a lot of uses. Comparing the precious tool to the multi-use T-bar tool. The flat working edge is much more pointed on the precious tool than on the T-bar tool, while the T-bar tool has a much wider flat surface. Be sure to see the multi-use T-bar demonstration video to see how I use it differently than I use the precious tool.